everyone, Just Ash here, and I hope you have your tea at the ready because today we're talking about my favourite simulation game. I love simulation games. They're the games I play when I just want to chill out, relax, and not focus on anything too heavy like a plot or character building. So there are three types of simulation games that I really, really love. They are people management games, business or time and resource management games, and dating sim. I'm quite new to the dating sim kind of scene, so I don't have a big pool of reference, but from what I have played, I do thoroughly enjoy them. And today I'm gonna talk about some of my favorite games within these three subgenres. So for people management sims, the obvious choice is The Sims. I have played every single generation of The Sims. I absolutely love all of them. When I bought my current laptop, the only specifications I had for it was that it had to be able to run The Sims 4. Yeah, I have really high standards when it comes to tech. Of The Sims, I think my favorite generation is probably The Sims 3. It was very open world. I enjoyed the creator style and how in depth you could be with everything. I even did the legacy challenge at one point, which was a challenge that revolved around getting points for doing certain things with a certain sim and building their family and their house and all sorts of bits like that. And I finished that. I didn't do very well because I was more focused on playing the game than actually doing the challenge, but even so, it was great fun. Unfortunately, The Sims 4 was a bit of a disappointment for me. I was really looking forward to it and the base game took out a lot of stuff that was basically standard in previous generations, things like toddlers and swimming pools. And I kind of felt it was a bit of a money grab because I felt like they were gonna release them all as DLC later. A lot of the stuff was eventually released free in patches, but because of this, I prefer The Sims 3. It's my favorite Sims game ever. Now, for business or time and resource management games, these are things like Roller Coaster Tycoon, Theme Park World, things like that. My all-time favorite game like this is Theme Hospital. I have really distinct memories of playing that as a child and it being really difficult then. I have it on the PC now. It's still really difficult for me. I think that's because I'm not really very good at managing my time or my money, so that translates into just really, really poor games. But again, I like to just sit and chill out and relax with them. I don't need to focus on anything, and that's why I really love Theme Hospital. I do have another favorite game in this category, which is Zoo Tycoon. I recently got an Xbox One and realized that the Zoo Tycoon Ultimate Edition was available on the Xbox Game Pass, so obviously I downloaded that. The sandbox Zoo mode on that is probably my favorite because you have infinite money, so you have access to pretty much everything. And like I said, it's nice and relaxing. I use Zoo Tycoon in the same way that some people use things like fighting games or platformers, is I pick it up, I do a couple of things on it, and then I'm nice and relaxed, or I'm ready to go on to a more intense game. And finally, we have dating sims. Like I said at the top of this video, I haven't played a lot of them. What I do know is that I don't like the deadly, deadly serious ones where you actually have to try and work towards achievements. I prefer ones that are a bit more of a joke, a bit of a parody. And because of this, I really love Hatoful Boyfriend. I totally forgot that I even had this game. It was free with PlayStation Plus a few months ago and I just put it in my library and kind of forgot about it. But recently I was going through my games, realized I had it, downloaded it, literally wasted about an hour of my evening just clicking through all these options. If you've not played Heart of Boyfriend, it's basically it's a boyfriend dating sim, but all of the love interests are different kinds of birds. I really just think it's a little funny, unique spin on the dating sim. It's a really good parody and I highly recommend it to everyone because it's an experience that isn't going to eat up too much of your time, but it's still immensely entertaining. And that's it. Those are my favorite simulation game subgenres and my favorite games within those subgenres. If you've got a favorite simulation game, please make sure you leave it in the comments below. And if you've liked this video, please remember to give it a big thumbs up. And as always, pour yourself a nice cup of tea and join me next Friday at 8 for the next video.